I bring an unboxing. Guys, welcome to the Tennessee and Keeper YouTube channel. My name is Trey. This box is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be on camera, so I'm just going to take it off. So I got this box from Josh's Frogs. It's just a few uh, little insects. If you've been keeping up with me on Instagram, you'll know what it is. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this. So the things I got were actually for my leopard gecko Leo and not ants. Um, I'm just going to go through all the little things they uh, put in the bag. So here is the invoice showing what I got. As you can see, I got powder orange isopods and some springtail. So that's pretty cool that they do that. You also get this. This is what I like the most from Josh's Frogs. They say thank you. And this is from Corey. So Corey, if you see this from Josh's Frogs, thank you for packing this. What else we got? I'll show you guys the top of this box too. Oh, I dropped it. Oh no. Ugh. All right. So you also get these little cards that tell you how to care for uh, what you get. So this is for springtail. This one's for isopods. And it shows you the temperatures that they can live at and the humidity required. I actually didn't know this about springtail. It needs to be above 80% humidity. So that's pretty cool they do that. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the top of this box so I'm gonna, because I want to show you guys like just how well they package. Let's see if I can do this one handed here. Ta-da! As you can see, they layer each wall with foam, really thick foam actually. And it's everyone's favorite. Okay, now I've never actually uh, ordered orange isopods before. What is this? Shipping pack, okay. And then what I also like about Josh's Frogs anytime you order from them, I can't get it out, but it's a heat pack. So if it's cold, it'll keep your insects or uh, whatever animal you order pretty cool so uh, you guys probably saw everything in the box already I'm sorry but I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out and I'll show you guys what we got so these are going to be the porcelain orange isopods these isopods are actually really fast from what I was reading you see them in there and they're actually really big I don't remember the type of isopods I had in Leo's tank when I first started bioactive but I don't see them anymore. And I think that's because I did not do a good job taking care of them. So guys, make sure you take care of your isopods and your springtail. They uh, they may not technically be your pet, but they're still living creatures. I've learned from my mistakes and I'm gonna do better to keep them alive. So don't get angry at me in the comments, please. I promise I will do better. So I got 20 of these. There's 10 in each container. And they are actually really fast. The isopods you find here in Tennessee that are outside they're extremely slow, so it's pretty cool to see those orange ones and see how fast they are. And then I got three cultures, small cultures, of springtail. It's just uh, an eight ounce cup of each. And looking at the container, I don't really see any springtail at the top to show you guys. But for those of you that don't know what springtail are, they're extremely tiny little white insects. You can probably actually see them walking around in there, those little white dots. Those are the springtail. And what they do is they clean up all the nasty stuff inside the tank, just like the isopods. But the reason I got so many more springtail is because Leo currently has a fungus outbreak inside of his bioactive setup. So the goal, I don't think I'll use all three of these right off the bat. I'll probably just pour two containers in here because there's actually a lot of springtail in there. Um, We'll start with two containers. I'll keep one on standby and uh, we'll see if they eat all the fungus. So I'm gonna go to Leo's tank. We'll drop these guys in there and I'll show you guys that process and we will go from there. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, here's Leo's tank. And as you guys can see down here, that's the fungus I'm talking about. So I'm hoping that between the springtail and the isopods, I don't actually know if isopods eat that. But I'm hoping the springtail will take care of all that. As you can see, Leo's not too happy that uh, we're poking around. But that's okay. He's a nice lizard. 
So let's uh, let's go ahead and start getting these bugs in there. All right, so I went ahead and I have opened Leo's tank. There are a few things we need to do before we do this. And that is going to be spraying the inside of the tank. Uh, I like to get the humidity up high before hand. I'll wipe it off the glass here too. I get the humidity up high so that way the bugs can kind of uh, grow a little bit easier. I think I got to wipe down. The glass is kind of foggy still, guys. Um, let's see, some of that's out here too. I really need to get more glass cleaner for his tank. I ran out a while back, so I've just been kind of using water. Not the best thing to use, especially whenever you want to disinfect, but keeps the glass clean. Anyways, First thing I think we should put in here are going to be these isopods. See them? It's kind of hard to see. The camera's not really focusing the best. And the best way to do this, I feel, is just to kind of dump them in there. Uh, Leo will probably come out and start trying to eat them. But that's okay, because I've got plenty to dump in here. And uh, we're just gonna kind of plop them down. I'm gonna sift through the dirt. Ooh. I dropped the top. I'm gonna sift through the dirt to kind of flatten it out. Kind of help spread them around a little bit. There we go. So, you can probably kind of see them crawling around. I think the next one, I don't really know where to put the next one considering that this whole back area back here is just full of plants. It's recommended for these isopods that, at least from Josh's frogs, it's recommended that you get the food for isopods too. But I don't think I'll have to worry about that anytime soon, considering that uh, there should be plenty of broken down wood inside of here from tree. Sorry, got someone chewing on the, the tripod. Let's fix that. Considering I've got a lot of broken down materials inside of the substrate, I don't think we'll need to worry about anything else. Um, can't really see these isopods. They kind of just started running. But they're in there. So that's exciting. There's a couple of them right through here. I don't know about you guys, but I just love bugs. Unless they're spiders, I don't like spiders. I like tarantulas, not spiders. Okay. So now, time to move on to the springtails. The springtails are gonna be what really helps this uh, bioactive setup. The isopods are good for helping decompose uh, insects that are dead. They'll normally go through and eat that. But the uh, springtail, are gonna be very helpful for getting all of that nasty fungus out of there. Oh, yep, <laughs> he's already trying to attack the isopods. So that's not gonna hurt him in any way if he eats them. I'm actually pretty sure he's the reason the other isopods uh, didn't make it. So I'm gonna try to kind of coax him to move. Leo, stop it. They're, they're your friends. So, he's very territorial, but he is very squishy. He is not a mean lizard. See, you just let you pick him up and throw him around. Not literally throw him, but move him around as you need to. So the next plan that I have is to dump springtails here and kind of just sift the uh, dirt. Actually, I need the spray there. Got the other springtail. They are in. I don't think there's any left in the container. I dump it and tap it. Okay. So let's see here. Let's pick y'all up. 
you'll notice I have these little spikes up here. Uh, the cats like to jump up here, and unfortunately, the spikes don't deter them. So, oh, Leo is, uh, again, trying to attack the isopods. They probably won't make it. So, next thing, I'm just gonna kinda, kinda blend it in here. I don't wanna hurt the bugs. I don't think this will hurt them. As long as they know how to climb up, they will be okay. But yeah, then Leo has a nice little little pad there for him to walk around on. So this is what we got so far. I've got two containers of springtail in there. I'm not seeing a lot of action with them. So this can only mean one thing. We gotta dump the last one in there. And over here, whoa, tripod is acting funky guys, sorry. Leo, you're gonna hate me, but I'm gonna move you again. So I'm gonna spray again over here where I just dumped the springtail. Leo is not very happy about that. He, that is his favorite rock to go under. So he is uh, very mad at me. But on the other, you know, on the other hand, he never goes over there that much. So, uh, you know, that's a, that's a plus I'm getting to move him. And look, there's, there's actually an isopod on the uh, side of the rock that I just picked up, so that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna lower this back in there softly. Try not to crush any bugs. May or may not be in the way. Cool. All right, Wrinkles. Wrinkles is our other cat. She uh, got scared, I scared her. So, no, Leo, sorry, I didn't realize you were under there, crap. Okay. did not realize Leo was going to be under here. I didn't think about him uh, still being there, so that's fun. Okay. There we go. This plant is kind of blocking the view. Let me move it. I know, Leo, you're just not going to catch any sort of break from us today. There we go. All right. The last thing of isopods. And Leo, you're gonna hate me, but I got a spray over there. Let me go on ahead and just move him because he gets very angry when he gets sprayed. In we go. Got the last batch of springtail. And like the last one we did, I'm going to kind of push the dirt around just to kind of blend them in. Kind of get them all around there so here's what we got you can actually see some of the isopods running around if you look closely enough so again you're not going to be able to see the springtail unfortunately i don't have my macro lens and i don't have enough room to get in there with camera but i promise you there are springtail running around i can see them so yeah that's that guys over the next couple weeks i will try to show you guys the uh updates on this and it's over on the other side of the tank but this is the one that I'm most concerned about because it's a huge spot of it so again I'll keep you guys updated and thank you guys for joining me in this video that was both an unboxing and a uh, kind of how-to so I'm gonna put Leo's rock back and uh, we'll see what happens in the next couple weeks thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe if there's a better way to do all this uh, please let me know in the comments because I am still new to Bioactive. So please let me know your thoughts and ideas in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. He's just licking his lips. I bet you he got hold of one of those ice pods. Anyway, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.